All right, here's a, a 1975 Guild Mark IV for sale. Uh, again, it's a 1975 model. And the Mark IVs, if you look at my uh, Guild Classical Guitar video that I have on um, my YouTube channel, it goes through the whole the history of all the Guilds. Just real quick, on the Guild Classicals, there was seven models, a Mark I through a Mark VII. The first three models, the Mark One, Two, and Three, were the student models. The four, five, and six were the uh, more professional models, and the Mark Seven was a rare derivative of a Mark Six. And uh, the Mark Four is uh, the, is my favorite model as far as the history because it, it came with, with the various, the most variety, I should say, in tone woods. They came in uh, the flame pear wood, which is the most common one. Then they had a few examples in a, in a flame maple and both Brazilian rosewood and Indian rosewood. And this is the rare, rarest of all of them, I believe, the Afri African Paduk model, where it's uh, an African uh, wood, very similar to maple and um, mahogany as far as hardness from what I've read. It's a very hard wood, a difficult wood to deal with, but Guild made a few examples of the Mark IV out of um, African Paduke, which is this, this model here. I actually, this is the second one, second Mark IV African Paduke that I actually owned. Uh, but this is the nicest of the Mark IVs that I've owned. And I, I've actually collected and played 19 different Guild classical guitars over the years. Uh, the Mark IV again is the one that's the entry level professional model. And then, then, they, then they had a five and a six as well. The Mark IV is the last of the models that had the dovetail joint inside. This particular guitar has seven fan braces inside. Scale length's 25 and a half inches. Get a solid spruce top if I didn't mention that. No problems at all with the bridge or the, the saddle is low, is lower than I like. You can actually raise it up to four millimeters. The action's about um, three millers, three three millimeters on the base side, or so, and um, neck is nice and straight. So you can see that the other way, maybe. Um, the headstock has the the beautiful original tuners for the Mark IV. These these are original tuners from Gill from 1975. The serial number, I'll give you that just in case. I, it's in my listing too. It's uh, 125, 108, Let's come up here again, 125, 138, 125, 138 on the headstock, and on the uh, label it's a three as well, it's hard to read, I don't have my glasses on, but matching serial numbers, if you date this, it goes to uh, 1975. Mm -hmm. Um, the interesting th thing about the Mark IVs also is they're, the, like I said, the start of the professional models, which started out with ebony uh, fingerboard. The frets are fine. Everything's fine about this guitar. The only thing that you can notice is a little ding right here. But other than that, it's, the trim is nice. The sides are nice. It's a beautiful guitar. I love this guitar. I just need to downsize. It has dot indicators on the 5th and the 7th, which were original. Sometimes they added them, sometimes they didn't. Guild's a little bit crazy that way. I encourage you to check out my other videos on my website on the Guild Classicals. I'll run my fingers up the scale, up the neck. thing about the African Paduke, it's loud. I think this is a loud guitar and it's very heavy too. It's a solid, solid um, mahogany neck in the back. Again, African Paduke in the back and sides, a spruce top, 
a wonderful example of gill craftsmanship from the Westfield Rhode Island factory. Again, check out my other videos on gill classicals. If you have any questions, just contact me through my uh, channel or on the eBay listing. Good luck.